Bundeswehr arsenal includes Patriot Pac-3 batteries. Their state-of-the-art anti-missile systems and very flexible. That capability looks like landing the Bundeswehr its next mission abroad. The German government is prepared to agree to Turkey's request to station Patriot units close to the Turkish-Syrian border. That's already provoked controversy in Germany. For the Bundeswehr, it's a slippery slope towards involvement in the war in Syria. I can only warn against that. Germany should not want this and NATO as a whole should try to avoid being pulled into a messy civil war in Syria. Will this mean another open-ended and ill-defined mission for Germany? The country has almost 7,000 servicemen deployed abroad, mostly in Afghanistan. That mission was complicated by false expectations. Troops were ill-prepared for the mission and asked to do the job of development workers. We can't really blame the Bundeswehr and its commanders for that. It just points to a sense of helplessness about how such missions can be carried out by civilian means by development and economic aid, and via the police and judiciary. Germany is not planning another mission on this scale. In the future, Bundeswehr deployments abroad should be smaller, shorter, and less risky. Mali is likely to become the testing grounds for this new strategy. The country's north is currently in the grip of Islamist rebels, backed by former Libyan mercenaries. Berlin is considering sending the Bundeswehr to the region to support a West African rapid reaction force and to train Mali's army so that it can regain control over the north. Germany's defense minister says its troops would not be involved in fighting. Germany's decision will depend, crucially, on whether there is a clear, a crystal clear division between being involved in training and being involved in fighting. It's hard not to be skeptical given the chaotic situation in Mali. Whereas the rebels have the say in the north, there have been a string of coups in the south. There are parallels with the situation in Afghanistan in terms of the Bundeswehr mission too. Let me choose my words carefully. I get the feeling that this idea of a pure training mission in Mali, I say this advisedly, is wishful thinking. I don't think that Mali's armed forces are capable of dealing with this terrorist problem in the north, even with the training of the ECOWAS states. So I think there is a risk of follow-up missions that expand in scope. The Bundeswehr is currently undergoing a program of reforms. The aim is to reduce the size of the army, to make it more streamlined. But no one has specified what kind of missions it should be able to undertake and to what end. Some would like the Bundeswehr to concentrate on certain core strengths. The government would like the armed forces to be small, but fully equipped. We can't slim down the Bundeswehr. So we can only take on certain types of mission, such as lots of Afghanistan missions, and reject the rest because we don't have the right skills. Certainly not without our NATO partners' agreement. I don't think the government's Bundeswehr concept is sustainable. If you have less staff, less equipment and less money, then it will affect your performance. If all European NATO allies go down this road, we can only expect mediocrity. What are Germany's aims? In Afghanistan, German troops have been largely sitting on the sidelines, even though the Bundeswehr is the third largest contingent there. The country also has to play a bigger role in shaping Europe's foreign and security policies. We can't get past the fact that Germany is one of Europe's most important countries given its 80 million inhabitants and its GDP. It has to play a fitting role as far as these questions are concerned, both in the European Union and NATO. This is where the Patriot missiles come in. The majority of Germans oppose any mission in Turkey. But the government wants to send its anti-missile units nonetheless. It's a political signal to the Turkish government and other NATO allies.